back to class culture number 30 period posse Woo! we made it welcome back class culture we are now on number 30 of our oddities and curiosities i'm calling it an odyssey because this was a long journey and we made it this far thank you so much this has been so much fun the 31st one more to go even though we're going to do november 1st and 2nd i'm not going to name those blocked over i'm just going to put those on this playlist as well but yeah welcome back to class culture thank you so much for enjoying this series vlogtober is a youtube thing everyone that wants to get involved in it did this year i will participate next year only in uploads you know give yourself a break uh vlogmas is coming up i did vlogmas last year check out playlists. I will be doing cosplay this year, not vlogmas. I decided I'm not going to name it vlogmas. I don't know because I feel if I get tired and if I miss a day, then I'll feel bad. I'll, I, I don't know. Should I name it vlogmas? Cosplay? Vlogmas? I don't know. I'll figure it out. And then next year, shout out to the current day. Shout out to the future and beyond. Next year, we're going to focus the whole month of April on Easter tide. So yeah, it's it's coming around that uh, bin. I figure by the time five years or so and I retire, every month we'll have a holiday related series. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want for my channel. Yeah, I got the golden thumb up there for you to thumbs up the video. You golden heart you. Thank you so much. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of hard work and we appreciate your time and attention and we want to earn those subscriptions. However, you have to hit the button. I appreciate you. Hit the bell. Mm -hmm. Also, join Replay Cruise. Take a peek over on my community tab, the boardroom, and down below in the description box downtown for upcoming show ideas and more information. For instance, if you're new here, everything we talk about is going to be down below. I'm going to kind of miss it, going to kind of, but yeah, it's it's a lot of work and I appreciate your time and attention. But yeah, I, oh, this is a lot of work. It's, I, I, um, you know, I do this part time. I have a full job, a full life, a full family and all of that lifestyle everything but yeah that's a lot of work to commit to something every day even though i do things every day it's just a different thing you feel obligated to do it it's not a a race or a contest it 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 is what it is so shout out to all the vlogtoberers out there i made some new friends i've subscribed to some new channels um lifestyle channels i consider my channel a lifestyle channel meaning it has different moving parts you go read it over on information page uh i put pinterest over there i sure did i kicked myself in the butt and i put pinterest down there and if you go over there it's kind of a mess but i'm gonna fix it up i promise and i'm gonna take the whole year take my time add pictures when i want I opened it up, you guys. I have 64. Let me share. Or 65 messages. I'm like, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm I'm going to, once I add Pinterest and another backup sort of you know um social media platform, then I I'm I'm a true vlogger now. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that'll make it official. So, yeah, as you can see, it's been there for a minute. I only have the two followers. Um, it's over on my information page. I haven't been really, like, promoting it. Some of these are private just for me, but some of them are public as well. I told you my focus is going to be to bring my pictures from Art and Craft Therapy and put them on here. I don't want to step. I, I thought about it. I said, no, that's too much. I'm sorry. It's not like I got staff or nothing. But um, I mean, I got a crew, but they they got jobs. You know, they're not over here trying to make me look good on social media. That's my job. 
But as you can see, I have things over here already, but some of these are private. But I, it, it was a good start, and I haven't even paid attention to it for, like, the whole of, you know, the end of 19, 20, or 21, because, you know, I've been busy. But, yeah, um, I'm going to pick it up and, and figure it out, and I don't know what those 65 messages are. But we'll figure it out. I'm going to leave it open. It's always going to be open. It's just the one hanging and flapping in the wind social media a site that I didn't really, uh, you know, pay attention to. I'm also going to uh, put it on the link below where it has all my social media links on, in there. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel good about that. So, yeah, let's talk about this subject today. Ooh, it's a lot going on. I don't have I don't have any overlays for this one. It's not a big deal. Uh, and I think you all know the subject matter, right? Isn't she beautiful? Okay. I love black cats. I don't know why any black person would be scared of a black cat. And then you're like, Gigi, are you crazy? They're but bad luck. Well, so are Black Panthers then. That's just a miniature Black Panther. Are you okay? I don't know. I've always loved black cats. Now, I had an old cute little marmalade a tabby, you know, Pythagoras. Mm -hmm. I told you guys. But, yeah, I always wanted a black cat, but my mom wouldn't let me because she was all superstitious and stuff. I want that last dumb because black panthers are beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Wakanda forever. So I never understood that. But, anyway, um, my family, we love all types of pets. I don't. We don't discriminate. I'm, I, I'm not superstitious. I'm, I really, I'm not. If you say there's a ghost and everybody, 50 people run away, I'm standing there. I want to go see it. I mean, really. Okay. If it scratches me, it's skin. It'll heal. I, I just want to see it. Okay. But yeah, I, I, uh, I, I can't be a fool like that. It's just, I, I love black cats. It, why be mean and mad at it if you can't help it? Oh, kitty. Okay, look how precious. Mm -hmm. One more time. Okay, back to the subject matter at hand. Mm -hmm. So we have black cats, Bombay cat, Egyptians worship cats, shapeshifter. What is a shapeshifter? Spooky Halloween stories and haunted house. I think I'm going to put haunted house in front of that right that makes more sense mm -hmm. so yeah this is this is kind of it I'm I'm, I'm 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 happy because i i, I could get some rest but yeah on the other on the other hand um i'm gonna miss it i'm gonna miss it but now i have it and now i can come back and watch them and just really enjoy them and go back and visit a lot of these links right so we're gonna put the haunted house in front. Oh, I know why I wanted to put it last. I'm going to leave it last on the links and you'll see why. Okay. But yeah, are you afraid? Are you superstitious? Do you like cats? Are you a cat person? We're cat people, but we're also dog people, bird people, fish people. And yeah, that's about it right now. Um, the kids had the little fella, and then they had a dog. They're like, no, uh, screw that. Get rid of the dog. I was like, yeah, get him a dog when he's like seven. Focus on the human. Yeah, I, it, it ain't it ain't all of that in a bag of chips, you know. Um, I was in a family where I was the youngest, so there was always people around. It wasn't like it was just me and the dog. When you just have a single child, it's, it's difficult. It's not, you don't got no help from nobody else, right? So, yeah, I prefer cats over dogs because they, they're kind of self-cleaning, self-sufficient. They don't need a lot of attention. I don't need a lot of attention either, you know, in my real life. But um, when I want to cuddle and sweetness and love and cuddle and loyalty and purr and uh, sweetness and uh, uh, fuzzy, cute happiness, it, it's cats are the best. They clean themselves. Now they go, they're going to get old nasty fur ball every once in a while. <laughs> you know, they got to spit it out and stuff. But they're just easier to take care of. 
I like indoor cats. I don't like outdoor cats. I don't know where you've been. I got OCD with the germs and shit. I can't do that. Now, if they escape every once in a while, they might have a little habitat out on the outside in the back patio stuff. But um, no, ma'am, it has to be an indoor cat for me. I, I don't like the outdoor. No, sorry. Unless I had a big old farm, then that's different. Right. But no, it's the indoor cat, the one I'm cuddling, the one that can jump up on my furniture and stuff because I know it's clean because I've clipped and washed and, and uh, uh, groomed you. Then, yeah, mm -hmm. cats are cool. I don't know why people are afraid of cats. Uh, yes, the nails, they have claws, things like that. Uh, some people say it's inhumane. I say you're in my house. Sorry, not sorry. You're the front claws got to go. I, I'm sorry. That that's just me. And uh all the cats I've ever had and had them declawed, they were fine. People were like, well, they can't uh, defend themselves. Defend themselves against what? The vacuum. You know what I'm saying? They never get outside, they never get lost. Nothing never happened to them. That's just me. I don't know about you. So let's get on with the get down. Okay, so yeah, this is number 30, and I can't believe it. We made it. Woo, I'm so happy. All right, when I look up black cats, mm -hmm, and let me make sure you can see. Yeah, I like being down there. I can even, should we get rid of the 30? Yeah, let's get rid of the 30. All right, yeah, that's better. Let me see. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, we all know what a black cat is. It's a domestic cat with black fur that may be a mix or specific breed or a common domestic cat of no particular breed. Sometimes they just pop out. Okay. Uh, the Cat Fanciers Association recognizes 22 cat breeds that can come, that can come with, sorry, solid black coats. The Bombay breed is exclusively black. Okay. Black cats are often a symbol of Halloween or witchcraft. In most Western cultures, black cats have typically been looked upon as a symbol of evil omens. I don't agree. Mm -hmm. And here they say the same thing. Sort of, kind of. Uh specifically being suspected of being being that's a lot of beings of the the familiars of witches or actually shape-shifting witches themselves now uh familiars okay i guess i could have put it on there i don't know it's, it gets to be where it's a lot of things going on i'll, I'll put it down there because you know we get down like that just in case you didn't know. Give me a second. Pace. Okay. So we'll get there in a minute. So, um, what does the Bible say about cats? It, it Guess what? It doesn't even mention cats. Okay. They might mention lions, but uh, no, domest no, no domesticated cats and things like that. Okay. So uh, we can look at a million images. You know what a black cat looks like. Aren't they sweet? I love them. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Now that might creep some people out. But no, they're beautiful. And they come with all different type of color eyeballs as well. Well, now nah, nah, that's a little creepy. <laughs> that was mid. Meow. Meow. They love my meows. I like when cats purr. I, I got an old nasty purr when I want to. Yeah, cats love me, and I love cats. But, yeah, I don't have a cat right now. I'm not a cat lady. Um, some of my family members have cats, and they don't bother me. I just ask, oh, we got a little nasty set of things. I just ask people, is it friendly? If it's not, then I don't want to mess with it because it's going to piss me off if it uh, scratches me. Otherwise, cats don't even care. If you don't bother them, they don't bother you, and it's not a big deal. So let's look at the word familiar. 
I mean, for instance, I wish StreamYard would change the color of that background or give us options. You know, it's all black. You're used to looking at it. Okay. So familiar or imps usually are small household pets that serve as a witch's companion. According to legend, familiars are sort of like guides. They take the form of an animal on earth. They are loyal guardians and protectors to witches who are sent to assist them with magic. Okay, in European folklore of the medieval and early modern periods, familiars are believed to be supernatural entities that would assist witches and cunning folk in their practice of magic. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, you know, you can click links. I don't have no links down below because this was in real time. Uh, boom, they won't. And I hit it while you were watching. But yeah, you can um, get into that subject matter on your own. Okay. It's just their buddy. Like right now, if you got a dog, he's your familiar. He's there. He's in your house. He's your buddy. Right? So let's look at Bombay. He's not a shapeshifter, unless you know something you ain't telling us. But yeah, let's look at Bombay Cat. Right? Yes, that's next. Okay. The Bombay Cat is a type of short hair, meaning they're not, they don't have the long, furry, fuzzy winter coat look they're just short and um close to the skin because a lot of people don't know cat speak so yeah uh short hair cat developed by breeding sable bernice i'm just kidding burmese <laughs> and black american short hair cats to produce a cat of mostly burmese type but with a sleek panther like black coat a uh, bombay i like saying bombay is the name given to black cats of the Asian a group. It's a lot. You can do your research. But they say it's medium size. It's well balanced. It's friendly. It's alert. It's outgoing. It's muscular. And it has a surprisingly weight for its size. Yeah, they, they, they're musculars. They, they got muscle. Like when you pick them up, you're like, oh, you know, if they let you pick them up. If they don't know you, don't pick up cats if they don't know you. They don't know you. Did they gotta get to know you? When you when you approach a cat, take your chin, touch your um your uh your neck, you know, so chin down and look up at them. So because you're bowing your forehead to them and they'll come to you. Or cuff your hands, not a fist, just cuff your fingers back and put it near their nose so they can sniff you. That's the best I can do to help you. If you're scared of them, just leave them alone. Yeah, they're supposed to be. They're cats. They come from the jungle. They've just been domesticated and bred over time to be little furry uh, housemates. But they're the same cat as the panther and the tiger and the lion. It's the same thing, feline, okay? I think they're beautiful. I love the chartreuse. So maybe I, one day I'll get both. Okay. So yeah, I love a Bombay. I love any black cat. I don't care what it is. I don't, I don't even care. I just, they're just adorable. Oh, I just like them. I don't know why anybody would be afraid of them. Now that's fake with the heart on the chest. Give me a break. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? That picture there. But look at this. That is so fake. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the internet is so stupid sometimes. But yeah, I like indoor kitties. I don't like outdoor kitties are too wild and people have scratches on them. I will not tolerate that. You will, you must live inside the house. Yes. With Gigi. Mm -hmm. Now, if you raise it and they can behave themselves, then, you know, Maybe you can get caps for their claws, but no, I don't. They will kill your furniture. Don't do it. You know, you have to buy them a, a cat tree and a scratching board. When they don't have that, they don't have the need to do all of that. Sorry, not sorry. It is what it is. All right. What is the next thing? Uh, Egyptians worshipped cats. They sure did. 
All right. Yeah. Cute little number 30 episode. Egyptians believed cats were magical creatures. Did I spell it wrong? Joe. Oh, you know why I did that? Okay. Okay. You know me. Oh. Okay. You know me. I'll just spell it wrong. Then I'll get this. Right? I'm going to take a picture of it. It is what it is. Okay. Egyptian. Sorry. I'm being distracted. <laughs> Egyptians believed cats were magical creatures capable of bringing good luck to the people who housed them. To honor these treasured pets, mm -hmm, wealthy families dressed them in jewels and fed them treats fit, fit for royalty. When the cats died, they mummify them. And they don't say it here. They mouth, they're good mousers. They killed my mice. So then when I put in the correct spelling, will it let me do it? Nope. That's next. Right? Then it says the same thing. But then you bring it here. Cats were represented in social and religious practices of ancient Egypt for more than 3,000 years. Cats were praised for killing venomous snakes and protecting Pharaoh since at least the first dynasty of Egypt. Skeletal remains of cats were found among funerary goods dating back to the 12th dynasty. And they killed mice. I don't know why they won't bring that up, but I guess the snakes and the mice killed them, but I, I prefer, uh, I ain't doing the snake. You know what I mean? Mice you can get rid of, just have a bunch of cats. But yeah, that, that's a huge reason why. Which is very odd because the, the snake that's represented on the crown. But you know, it is what it is. So you go to images at the correct spelling. Now I have the correct spelling down below. So it is what it is. And you get all types of goodness. Okay. There you go. And you can do your own research. Oh, isn't that pretty? Ooh. Oops. Oh, now they're going to get stingy. Let me see if they'll let me visit over here. I know you can't see. I just want to see what it is. What it is. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Here. Let me see. Okay, I'll put this down below because I don't have a lot of webbies. Copy. All right, so I'm going to close that and I'm going to add this. Which one? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, we don't have a lot of ebby, uh, ebbies, webbies. Paste. How many do we have? Let me. Yep, eight. Okay. So, shape shifter. Okay. I would want this. <laughs> like in Harry Potter, I was good with it. <laughs> it went like, Ooh! it was like, okay. A mythical feature that can assume different forms. Now they say mythical, which one is it? One that seems able to change form or identity at will. All right. In mythology, folklore, and speculative fiction, Shape-shifting is the ability to physically transform oneself through an inherently superhuman ability, divine intervention, demonic manipulation, sorcery spells, or having inherited the ability. Wow. That's a whole book. Oh, you got to rent at the library. That's a lot. While the popular idea of a shape-shifter is of a human being turned into something else, there are numerous stories about animals that can transform as well. You know, in Maleficent, remember the crow? Well, she did it, but she used a spell because she was a, a magical sorcerer. But yeah, okay. And the, the images are okay, but some of them are kind of weird. So it, it's, it's just a weirdness on the weirdness level. But it is Halloween. Happy Halloween and happy whenever you come across this video. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the next thing? 
All righty. Haunted house and then spooky Halloween stories. Yeah, this is going to be cute. This is going to be cute. I deserve it. Woo, I deserve it. I, I can feel the, the shoulders relaxing. I can feel it. Uh, which one did I say I want to do first? Haunted house. All right. So are you going to go to a haunted house on the 30th or the 31st? We'll see. Yep. San Francisco or the Bay Area, there's a lot of haunted houses. But um, here it says with the pictures over here, a haunted house, a spook house or a ghost house in ghost lore is a house or other building often perceived as being inhabited by disembodied spirits of the deceased who may have been former residents or were otherwise connected with the property or just evil entities that follow you in there. I'm just saying real quick. Yeah. So we know what a haunted house is. And you can look in your area um, if you have your Google location on and check out and see what some people just think houses look haunted. And they're not. They just look a little creepy, a little on the gothic side. But there's a house in San Francisco. Now that looks, that's creepy. That's creepy. Because it's all broken down. They say, I'm nosy. I'm, I'm going in. You know, you can get the cartoony and the happy and the hee hee and the kiki. But yeah, the, now that's creepy. Mm -hmm. You you won't believe how many abandoned houses are out there. They're just abandoned with the furniture and everything. I mean, if it's not that broke down, maybe you can, you know, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, what do they call it? Squat. And then you can own it after three years or something like that. After three years, you have to pay for it or something. Now, squatters are not nice at all. You know, those that's thievery. But something left like that, I would just buy it and refurbish it. Why would I squat and, you know, break the rules? But, yeah, now that's a scary one right there. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little creepy. Right? It's a little creepy. Yeah, I could go on and on and on. Now that is creepy. Down, down low, haunted houses. Look at all the uh, the what do they call it? The um, stairways. Interesting. Okay. Now scary stories, and then we'll look at the links, and we'll be done. Yay! Yeah, I, I mean. It, Pat myself on the back. Oh, good job. Yeah, I, I I need that break. I need that break. Plus, I showed you Pinterest. And maybe you'll look at the playlist. And then we'll fill this up and be gone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, when you put in spooky Halloween stories. Here, they give you what are some good spooky stories. You know, you can listen to them. Well, we're in a movie marathon this weekend. Nine bad things that happened on Halloween through history. It's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And then lots and lots of suggestions where you can open it. And then all of a sudden, you're going to get all of your good websites. Okay. So let's go straight to the website. Do I want to? What, what was I looking at here? What was I doing? Oh, okay. All right. Now I'm going to save those. All right. For tonight. Okay, give me a second. I am going to copy, and we're going to get on with the show. So um, a lot of people aren't cat people, but by the time I talk to them, I say, oh, try it. They go, oh, no. And then like a week later, they're like, oh, I went over to my friend's house, and they are kind of cute. Yeah, if you, if you don't like something, you walk in the door, it's going to sense that you don't like it. And it's going to look at you like, and why? I didn't do nothing to you. You know, cats are smart, very, very smart, very intelligent, very observant. If you do something out of the ordinary, they are figuring you out like why are you doing that i remember one time i i was really really busy and i know i would i get busy years ago and we had our kitties and that cat came over to me tapped me on my leg and was like uh the water is out i'm like wow that was weird i was like what yeah 
and then they walked away. So that means follow me. And his water was out. So it's like, yeah, cats are extremely intelligent. It's kind of weird and strange, but yeah, they're, they're very intelligent. So, okay, let me see. Make sure you can see that. Yep. Yeah. Isn't he pretty? Mm -hmm. So this is rover.com. And as you can see, it's about dogs. <laughs> but there's cats in here too. There's articles. Go away. Top 11 beautiful cat breeds. So I thought that was awesome. There's the Bombay. Are they beautiful? I'm not going to name all of them. It is what it is. I think they're stunning. Oh. Some people are freaked out by cats. It is what it is. I'm not mad at you. I don't know why they don't have a picture for that one. Oh, they're so cute. I like looking in their eyes. They can't help it. Who says they're evil? Humans are evil. I love British short hairs. Big, fat, and silly. Okay. Just, I hate when kittens grow up. <laughs> I just want them to be kittens all the time. But, yeah, they grow up. I would, I mean, they make those teacup kitties, but I don't like that. That's like stunting them. You know what I mean? That's not right, in my opinion. So, what's next? Yeah, let's look at the Bombay. Bombay, A to Z animals. More ads. Just ignore it. I'm going to try to make it as big as possible. Look, they, the teeniest, tiniest of space where you can't see anything. Good grief. Isn't she pretty? I don't know if it's a girl or boy. You can't, you can't tell till you see what's back there. But then they talk about the classifications and all the other important stuff you want to talk about. And then they give you facts. So you can look up any animal here in this website. Okay. Intelligent, energetic, calm, friendly. Mm -hmm. Breed, bred to look like a black panther. You see that right there? They want black people to have them. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, and they can live up to 20 years. Honestly. So, there. Very beautiful. Very beautiful animals. All right. And they're fun and silly. Cats get this thing called the crazies. Like, every evening, they just have to run and jump and run and run, 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 run. Or just do something silly, 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 silly. And it lasts for about... 10 minutes and then they're good. They got to get it out, uh, out of them. And I love to make little foil balls and throw them and they go nuts. And then at the end, calm them down with a little catnip. They're good. So every day it's sort of like playing toss with a cat. They have to get it out. Sometimes they'll even jump on your head. Just to get your attention. <laughs> it's just crazy. Cats are fun. And you have to take care of them. They have to go to the vet. You have to feed them. You have to wash their bowls. You have to make sure their sleeping area is clean. They're just not some wild animals you don't have to clean up after. Yes, you do. You have to. I clean the litter every day. That was me. So, yeah, it's a fortune. But, yeah. I like this website because they talk about myths and facts about black cats. And don't have anybody in your house with negative energy. If they don't like it, they don't need to come over. That's that cat's home. They should not disrespect your animal, your fur baby. So there's a lot of uh, goodness here for you to read. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not afraid of cats. But if I don't know your cat, I'm not going to be, hey, kitty, he gonna get you no i just go oh it's pretty and just sit down and no i don't pay attention to it why, why would i you know I'm, I'm not there for the cat the cat wants to come over and say hi to me it'll come over and say hi to me if it don't it don't my kids have a cat that ignored me for like five years and eventually it just came around the other one was fine but the other one mm -mm. and i was like yeah just okay that's fine i wasn't mean or nothing to it but i never forced 
the kitty. Now it's not a big deal. So yeah, let the animal do what they want to do. They're, they are they are an animal, right? Okay. Why did Egyptians worship cats? Well, petfinder.com tells you. Isn't that beautiful? Right? Nice. And they give all the details, all the goodness is in there. Okay. All right, so what's next? Oops, what am I doing? Pay attention. Focus. All right. So science ABC is why did ancient Egypt's worship cats? So that's what I had brought up before. And you can say they're protector of food, a symbiotic relationship with cats, beliefs, myths, and cats, ancient Egyptians and their utmost devotion to cats, picture of a cat <laughs> I love that satin feel to it so yeah all good information yeah isn't that cool mm -hmm. symbiotic relationship this relationship was considered as a symbiotic or mutual relationship where both cats and Egyptians benefited, or humans. Cats enjoyed living with humans because it meant they had access to surplus food, vermin, you know, el rodente, as well as food left for them by humans, and could avoid threats by larger predators so they can relax. They're not in the wild worried about the bear or the beaver or the bat. That's why I like indoor cats. They don't, it was, I was traumatized. We had one outdoor cat and he got sick and died because something, he got in a fight with something. I said, no, never, ever. I can't deal. Now, if it's just an outdoor cat living around the corner and you see it all the time, well, he's not your, your boo-boo. You know, you don't care because he's just not yours. But yeah, it was so traumatic to me. I was like, nope, never again. They have to stay inside. That it was so sad. And I was angry at us, not the kitty. But when they're outside, they have to be safe too because of predators. Then they say, on the other hand, Egyptians were getting free pest control. Well, it's not even on the other hand. It is what it is. Farmers welcomed their presence as they helped keep produce rodent free. Soon migrating farmers, peasants, sailors, traders, basically everyone took domestic cats everywhere they went, which is how cats were introduced into numerous places across Egypt and the planet Earth. It just makes total sense. The winter's coming. Little fuzzies want to come in because it's what? Warm. It's a habitat. And your cat, trust and believe, my cats used to go after flies. I, I, I love watching a cat chase a fly. But yeah, anything else, it would just handle. And that's its job. Isn't that a stunning picture? I'm like, oh, what is it? An old gateway to Mars? What is it? It's fascinating. Right? Okay. Now you know. Now you, you. And then at the top, you have news world investigation business sports mm -hmm. opinion uh-huh archives editorial mm -hmm. lifestyle okay oh let me bookmark this let me bookmark this oh yeah and then you go down and then they talk about it these are just articles for you and me and later on whoever comes around but then they talked about a Taoist philosopher who lived many centuries ago, wrote that the liberated person rides on the flow of heaven and earth and the transformation of the six elements and wanders in the, uh -huh. is it wonders? In the infinite. In other words, the liberated person is an eternal shape shifter, possessing no shape that is truly his or her own the greek gods also possess the ability to change forms so go get your life and read that part now you know already 
-hmm. That's down below. Yeah, I just love that. It just opens up the conversation more. It turns the page to a, the next chapter. It broadens your mind. It's enlightening. Love it. So we only have two more to go, and that's it. Yeah, this is, sorry, not sorry. I gave myself a break because I was like, oh, I could go into this, and I can go in, and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. We're going to wrap it up in a cute little bow mm -hmm, and get ready for the 31st. We're going to have fun on Halloween. We sure are. All right. Yeah, good little 50 minutes. That's all. That's it. That's all. Everybody needs a break. And sorry, you guys, I had to drop them, drop them, drop them. I was running out of time. Yeah. So uh, 11 best scary ghost stories. This is countryliving.com, one of my favorite magazines in my hand and on the electronic digitals as well because it has everything in there and great ideas, just like the Martha Stewart um, magazine and all my other fave magazines, uh, carving ideas is still not too late. But yeah, they, they say 11 best scary stories that will scare your socks off. I'm like, huh? Now there are scary stories on YouTube. So hint, hint, and next year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there you go. I'm just going to go really slow. I'm not going to go all the way down to 11. Ooh, the crying lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, they didn't tell Don Gigi. The Bell Witch Adams, Tennessee. Ooh. Right? The Ghost of the Crescent Hotel in Arkansas. Ooh. Mm hmm. Yeah, interesting, uh, uh, fun topics. And uh, they are scary. I read them. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, that, that looks scary. Okay, I'm going to close it because that's enough. All right. <laughs> we'll save that for Halloween night. Oops. I hope you can still see me. Yeah, it always gets glitchy at the end. So let's hurry it along because no, ma'am. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, in real time, a shout out to the future and beyond. Uh, yeah, I agree. Go away. Ten terrifying haunted houses and more coming to the Bay Area. So look at that. So in your area, just check it out. Ooh, immortal reckoning at the San Francisco Mint. I pass that almost every day. There you go. People are looking. They're child. They're looking on Google Maps right now. San Francisco ghost hunting walk tour. So, yeah, definitely we're going to uh, put this on the old nasty bookmark. And I haven't decided. Depends on what we do, what time I'm supposed to be. I'm not going to be out late. I'm just going to, I just want to go hug a little fella, carve a pumpkin, and come home. That's what his parents are for. So, yeah, look. Overload Scream Park. I mean, a lot of these are probably not open yet. I don't know. But it's here for you to take a peek at. Yeah, look at look at some of the, the places that are open in your area. And they have real stories tied to them. It's not made up. It's not a, a farce or a skit. It's something that happened. Okay? And that's that. All right. Yeah, because it's getting glitchy and we're out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, hearts of gold. We did that. Let's look at the playlist and we're, we're done. Give me a second. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Let's look at the about page. Give me a second. Does it say about? No, I'm looking. Say, so, let's see what happens. Yeah. So now you can see I have all my links over there: Saga City Films, Queen Charming Twitter, Queen Charming YouTube, Class Culture, Gigi Darl Bio, uh, La Bombo Bone, Instagram, Deirdre, Archicraft Therapy, YT, IG Go, Class Culture, Influx, Deirdre, H Wells, Pinterest. It's all there. 
now let's look at some playlists we're going to read everything that's on this playlist and we'll be done we'll be done give me a second yeah i'm, I'm doing that last because uh, uh give me a second i know i have it give me a second because we have one more mm -hmm. the halloween show okay so oops i didn't i didn't make it neat here we go let's make it neat and please in real time hit the reminder button that video you can see it okay just like right now you'll be able to see this video is live and then live in color mm -hmm. all right here we go oh it's the right one y'all i don't know I'm, i feel uh let me let me close out i don't need these open anyway so let me just make sure because i got other things going on so i showed you the info page yeah you don't need to see the studio or nothing like that okay here we go oddities and curiosities odyssey so here are the videos from uh, months gone past. And here's just good information I felt belonged here on oddities and curiosities. Okay, like runes. Okay, tales from Scotty. Hey, Scotty, you were here a whole year ago. I can't believe it. Superstitions. There's the caddy. I love him. Mm -hmm. And here they are. Okay, hold on. Bones, runes, numerology. And this link will be down below. Okay. Letters, naturalists, rituals, charms, protection, lore, tales, oracle dreams, a gods and goddess, wizard, sorcerers, witch. Yes, I'm skipping over words. Occult. Okay. Now, I know I did occult tw twice. That's fine. Uh, divination, tree of life, Africa, bonfire. I can't believe tombstone uh lucifer hades saints uh creatures weapons wands animal spirit leaves herbs metal elements energy work mm -hmm. uh what else palm reading i can't believe we did all this calendar days <laughs> tada the cult again lilith okay secret society ripley's uh, auditoriums, steampunk, antiques, and black cats. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, I'd say Bombay cats. But yeah, and Halloween is coming, and I can't believe I did all that. And of course, on all of my playlists, I have my subscribe video, my Treasure Island video, my wish list Amazon video, and our intro video, just because it's good music and it makes you happy. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and make sure I put it down below. Let's look at the um, community tab. Then we're done. Yay, we did it. I showed you Pinterest. Yeah, I showed you Pinterest. Happy Halloween. Isn't that cute? It just says Halloween. But isn't that cute? Oh, I love those matted color that is my jam right now for some reason i'm into the matte satin slick feel i just i, I love it and uh there's gg yes focus pivot rope me me class culture queen charming okay yes so thank you so much um you are the sky everything else is the weather thank you hearts of gold i appreciate you so much in real time i am celebrating along with armina thank you boo mm -hmm. Four hundred thousand views you guys rock thank you mina so much i mean we're just gonna grow organically i can't tell you you guys um earlier in a video 
it's a wow for me <laughs> and we're gonna keep going we're gonna we're not changing any of the formulas we are just fine we are just fine thank you mina it's absolutely stunning and beautiful i appreciate you i wanted it to be a part of real time right right now in the meantime you know what i mean i, di I didn't want it to uh get lost in the sauce all right so thank you hard to go that's it. I don't even care. It's not a whole hour. It, it doesn't make me no mind. It is what it is. Shout out to Google, mm -hmm, giving us all that good attention and, uh, uh, you know, uh, putting the good ads on the videos. My channel has really, really grown and I'm really appreciative. We got one more to go. So hit the reminder button. Don't be scared. It's just a cute little kitty cat. He won't bother you. Okay. Just remember to hit all the reminder buttons. Please subscribe. We are hashtagging 3000. Please join the membership. It's very affordable. I am on my 100th drive through the end of the year. We got 60 days in real time. Shout out to the future and beyond. Yes, I would love your support too. But yeah, I don't have to come up with something. Y'all Y'all playing hard to get. I really don't get it. I'm just saying real quick, it's worth it because we got a lot of content and a lot more coming and going in 2022. Okay, boo. See you next time. Bye.